Hey guys, Julia Sherwin here for CRS Tech Talk. It is a Wednesday, September the 18th, 2019. And today I'm going to talk to you about education and technology and our product here, the Huddle Cam Simple Track 2, which is available on conferenceroomsystems.com. I'll have all that and more coming up after these quick messages. Hey, welcome back. Julia Sherwin here. This is CRS Tech Talk. We air on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 o'clock Pacific. And I'm here to talk to you today about technology and how it is enhancing the higher education arena specifically. And I just want to share something with you um, from EdTech, the Focus on Higher Education publication. According to a recent article, colleges seeking to differentiate themselves as technologically advanced institutions would do well to incorporate modern classrooms into strategic plans. Well, part of a modern classroom is technology, something like the HuddleCam HD Simple Track 2 can offer. This is an auto tracking camera that will follow a lecturer during a lecture and enable that um, that video feed to go to um, displays in a classroom. So imagine those large lecture halls, like those intro classes in college that, that you may remember where there are 200 plus people and sometimes you get that seat at the at the back of the room and well it's a little bit hard to see what's happening in the front of the room so so this huddle cam hd simple track 2 kind of alleviates all that you can see some footage we have here um, there it is uh, mounted to uh, a kind of a wall um, scenario but see it's auto tracking on its own um, only requires a setup and you know one person can control multiple cameras it's just kind of a set and forget sort of scenario with the software um, that comes uh, with the camera so a lot of higher education institutions are excited about this because in the past you know they may have had to hire people to you know be designated camera operators certainly instructors themselves they don't want to be burdened with doing that um, they want to kind of focus on the content and interacting with students so that alleviates all of that worry for the instructor for the institution in and of itself they don't have to worry about paying for st uh, students to run these uh, cameras they're they're automated and automated automatic and um, do we have a question do we have a question shoot up no okay that's just uh, some more uh, pictures this is a kind of a close uh, up picture and you can see this um, right here this is the actual IP address of the camera so when you're you know IT uh, professional at, a, at an institution has you know multiple cameras on campus you know you can kind of dive down into which cameras in which lecture hall or which classroom and that certainly um, you know makes it pretty easy I'm going to turn the camera around for you so you can see the different um, ports here. This is your, of course, uh, Ethernet port here. So you can get on the network and that's where you um, can access and control the camera. Um, this is your uh, DVI here, which can also be converted to HDMI and that can uh, help with your display to, um, you know, those display screens like I mentioned. Then you've got your um, SDI there and that uh, takes you into the uh, the lecture capture and and uh, learning management system that the school may have and then of course you have your USB 3 port right there so um, we can take a look at some uh, some more slides that we've got here to talk about you know how 
how that system works, of course, you can um, basically, you know, live stream a lecture through, you know, like Zoom video conferencing. Um, then you've got the um, the lecture capture system, which you see that Echo 360 Pro and that um that actually, you know, captures the lecture so that it can be integrated with a school's learning management system. And a student can can go back and review a lecture if they missed class or they just want to go back and and, you know, review what the what the professor or instructor said, kind of go over some notes. And um, it would be uh, it would be great. In fact, in my daughter's uh, algebra two class right now in high school where she's she's sort of uh, been immersed in a pretty intense program. So you may even find the high schools are going to incorporate some of this technology too it doesn't have to be exclusive to higher education institutions of course though we know kind of you know where the dollars flow um, for things like this so again there you see it um, kind of in use and how it works and let's see we actually see the the uh, motion tracking there in that view how does let's see we have a question I believe in the chat let me put on my glasses for that because my close vision is not very good. How does the camera track movement? Well, that's a great question. So the, the camera tracks movement uh, through, uh, you know, actually tracks movement of, you know, whoever's moving at the front of the room also does so through, uh, th so it does through, uh, does that through motion and also has, you know, facial movement, um, facial recognition as, as part of that technology too. Okay. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. So yeah, it, it's really, um, you know, it's just a, a, a game changer for for schools. And, you know, as as time rolls on, this is going to be a technology that's sort of expected, you know, when when students are, are applying to higher education institutions. I mean, we, we certainly live in a day and age where we, we can't always be in our office or in the classroom or in a lecture hall. So um, just having this capability, just um, it, it's it's what, you know, students are going to be looking for. Why don't we take a look at the the website to see a little bit more on conference room systems? So we we do have a we're an e-commerce site, so you can actually dive down, search for the product that you're interested in. For instance, you just do a search on Simple Track. Um, and then you can go in there and you see the actual specs for the camera and um, some more um, videos and images and how it works and can work for for your uh, businesses. Again, I mentioned higher education, but there's other applications for this too. Anytime you have somebody doing presentations regularly, you may be a safety professional who has to um, give presentations to your fleet team throughout the country and you want to ensure that, you know, they're, they're using safe practices. So, I mean, it's a great tool for really any kind of educational um, scenario and instructing and presentations, but it just so happens that um, higher education uh, institutions are really, really interested in this product, and um, they're they're some of our um, they're our biggest clients right now for this particular product. Let's see. I'm just going over to the chat. See if I have any other questions. That's a great question as well. Um, I think about 50 feet is, is sort of reasonable for the, the length of a lecture hall. I mean, that's, that's a good amount of space when you, th when you think about 50 feet. It's like five stories. So, um, yeah, great question. Thank you. Oh, how much does the unit cost? Um, well, in conference room systems, let's see, we've got this camera. I believe it's, it's 3000 right now. Um, 
which is a highly competitive rate. So all of our prices are listed there on conferenceroomsystems.com. And you, you can actually add it to the cart and buy right through our website. It's a very simple process. And yes, 3,000. In addition to those mounts that I talked about, you know, you can also mount it to a tripod, as you see this, this school is doing here. Um, sometimes it's not always um, as convenient for a school to have it mounted to a wall or other location. So, you know, it certainly can be mounted this way. And you see them hooking up to those port ports that I showed you earlier. And there it is. The camera's doing its thing. And you see it's, it's tracking the movement of the person in the front of the room. These are great shots of just how it works. And again, it's, it's set it and forget it. There are also um, blocking zones. So, you know, you can, you can set a range where you want to have tracks so that you're not, for instance, capturing a window where maybe there's a team practice outside that could be very distracting and something that you certainly didn't want to capture, um, you know, get any video feed of that. So you can block off certain zones if there's a door where students are entering and exiting. Um, so um, that can be all set up um, in the beginning before um, you're even, you know, starting the process. And it, again, it alleviates the need for the instructor to have to worry about any of that. And being a former um, college instructor myself, um, as an adjunct, you know, the last thing that you would want to worry about is, is fiddling with a camera while you're, you know, trying to to connect and engage with your students. So again, so that's your camera, the Huddle Cam HD Simple Track 2. And that is the, the lecture capture, um, Echo 360 Pro. And then again, that can be transferred to a school's learning management system. There are many of them out there. But then again, that's, you know, where the, the students can then go and, and, you know, find that lecture for later viewing and reviewing. So that is it about the Huddle Cam HD Simple Track 2. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of CRS Tech Talk. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are hoping to get out every Wednesday with some new information, uh, something useful, something fun. And so give us a give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook, and um, we'll see you next week. Thanks so much.